All right, guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in the channel today. It's a little windy in advance. I do have my mic buffer on today. Not sure how good that's going to do, but I want to apologize just in case you have a little wind noise. Uh, the topic of the video today is I've had a, people, a couple people question me about, you know, I've got all this equipment, generator, stuff like that, what I do to basically prep them for storage, right? They're going to sit up. You've got jet skis. You've got the Can-Ams. You've got generators. You've got all the weed eaters, all this equipment, right? And so... One of the things I do, and I'm not promoted by these products at all, this is just what I use, um, and it works for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you, but it works for me. Um, every gas can, basically the rule I have is whenever I fill any gas cans or I fill anything up coming home, it doesn't get unloaded unless it gets stable storage. That's what I put in everything. Um, this stuff is supposed to make gas good for up to 24 months. This can treats up to, 20, up to 80 gallons. So... When I go fill a bunch, you know, five to ten of these fuel cans, I bring them home before I unload them in the garage. I add that stable to them, mix them up a little bit, store them back, right? The other thing is, so every generator is different, right? And some of them you have fuel valves that you can turn off and let them run dry on gas, which is good. Um, some people have ethanol-free fuel, which is great. Some of us don't have access to ethanol-free fuel, so we have to use the standard fuel, which doesn't last very long. And it's very hard on your carburetor, so it's very important to keep those dry and um, keep that gas drained out. So we're gonna show you a couple different generators and show you what the best way is to dry those out, right? So my rule of thumb is basically, I keep every generator I have topped off full to the top. It keeps condensation from sweating in the tank and it keeps, you know, that, that if that gas is in there and it's dry and it's air, it's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna gum up, right? And so we're gonna keep it full as we can to the top when we store it. I'm gonna put the stable storage in it and hope for the best. Um, on generators like this one right here, I'm gonna flip this camera around, and show y'all. So when you when you look at generators like this, right? We can start this generator up. What we can actually do on this generator set is we can flip the manual valve off. That's a real simple deal. You let it sit and run until it dries up. It's gonna die. It may surge a little bit. It's gonna get all the gas out of the carburetor. You're pretty much good. Keep it full, keep that off, let it run dry, good to go. Same thing here on these type of generators, which I just ran these to. These are the Cummins Onan 4500s. They work really great. Um, you can just turn this gas valve off with them running and they'll dry themselves out. Works good on those. Both those did the same thing. These are actually topped off. Uh, ran them until they both died and uh, just killed a power switch on both of them. They're ready for storage. I recommend if you can do it, I run mine about every three months. I just bring them out fire them up put a little bit you know let open the gas valve up and uh do the same thing again dry them out let them run good um you know if you get generators like these cummins on in 2500s um i had a couple generax over this way too they have one standard knob here it's off run and choke right so there's really no way to drain the carburetor bowl from what you can see so you have to address these in a little different manner so i run these two Fired them up, just let them run really good. Kept them off eco mode. Um, if you've got a little space heater or something to plug into them, it's good to get a load on them. So anyway, just got done running them. We just flipped them to off. I'm gonna put this thing up on the back of the Can-Am and I'm gonna show you all how we drain the carburetor on these. Okay, so we got the generator up here and I usually use just an old can, but I'm gonna use a clear bottle today just to show y'all what comes out. Um, unlock your side cover on your generator. You're just going to get access to your carburetor, right? Pull the cover off the side. And what you're always looking for right here, as you'll see, this is your bowl. This is where the gas is stored. So if this gas stays in here, there's no way to really get it out because you can't turn the valve off and run this one dry. The valve is actually the kill switch. So what you do is you've got a little clear line coming right here off the bottom of this bowl. You just drop that in your little container like that. You've got either a Phillips or a flat drain a lot of times. This one's got a nice kink at the bottom. And then you just make sure your gas valve's off on the other side, on your kill switch. Just open that valve up. And just let it drain all that gas out. Try to get every little bit out if you can. Close this back off right here. And just get this tube. Make sure you get most of the gas out of it. And you just lay it back down here in the bottom. And reinstall your cover. And 
again, make sure you're topped off on the top. Make sure you got a full tank of fuel, which we're at the very top. This generator here is ready to go in storage. So that's basically, I wanted to cover both, both pieces. Let me turn this around. So I wanted to cover both types of gen sets so that you could see how to drain it. Um, even the ones that have gas valves may have a drain on the bottom of the bowl if it's accessible. You know, it's really easy to get to. I recommend draining the bowl all the time. Um, doing it like this, you're really good for long-term storage. You could probably let this generator sit, I would say six to eight months, no problem, but I would start it up. Um, it would, you know, after about eight months, just fire it up, let it run a little bit, shut it back down. Always wanna make sure they're good, they're ready to go, because you never know when you're in a storm, hurricane, you're gonna need them. So anyway, just wanna do a quick video on that. I've had some questions on it. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you don't mind, hit that like down in the bottom right-hand corner, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next video.